Starbucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, like, like I said, you're taking the time out right now. You're focusing on you. You're, you know, you're doing your soul strengthening, you know, finding that, molding the new version of you and also, you know, elevating in so many different ways and shedding faucets as well to head towards that positive, you know, platform. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, uh, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, give how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you are, you know, you feel like the video is just giving you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are really going through some trying times right now and trying to need, uh, trying to have confirmation or validation towards the life path, as well as, you know, or even their soul path. Uh, please go ahead and share and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support you're bringing me towards as also as the channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my uh, my um, meditation music, I just used this like, a few days ago, but I love this because it has uh, Buddha on the front of it. I always love Buddha. If it's not Buddha, meditation is just theta beats or binary beats. I love those, those three. Um, it's Buddhist sleep music. All is energy. Meditation music, music for rest of, uh, restoration uh sleep and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oka seeing the new version of you you have been molding yourself to be this mode you're already this beautiful light and you know you're able to strengthen yourself in ways that you aren't able to strength uh be strengthened in there's you're finding more confidence in yourself more and more each day when you're going through these trials and tribulations yes it is hard going through these things we have our ups and downs we're gonna have our good days and our bad days but you also have to believe everything has a balance <laughs> it does have a balance you have to be able to take the bitter with the sweet, the good and the bad, the light and the dark. You have to be able to embrace both things. But even though between both of those things, you're always learning a positive lesson throughout them all. And it's just like I tell people, yeah, there's sucky times when we got to deal with stuff and, you know, it shines on us. And it, I mean, it could be a messed up situation. You might be planning to be with somebody and all of a sudden all, they, you know, they just disappear or you know, you're, you might be finding somebody that thought it was a friend and they end up disappearing. And there's a lot of things that's going on in our lives that, you know, yeah, it sucks to be able to have to, you know, add more. Well, add more is good, but being able to subtract. Sometimes we feel like, you know, we're missing out on certain things, but we're actually not. But it's like, you know, nothing that you lost is actually a loss at times. Some things are you lose is actually not a loss. Um, and anything that's been taken out of your life, you know, it's going to be a substitute for something better. And it's just like we're molding ourselves and evolving. And it's just like we're our own artists. We're sculpting ourselves the way we want to be sculpted. The things that we don't like about ourselves, we are changing. We're working on. You know, there's things about you. You might be thinking, okay, I don't like the way I always project negativity out. Or allowing negative situations to get to me in the worst possible way. I'm working on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like when I go through things and, you know, I don't always allow everything to get to heart, but it's just like certain things could be a really bad thorn in your side. But then it's just like, you know, when I pay attention to the videos that I make, I pay attention to the things that I'm giving out, words of encouragement, you know, love doing one-on-ones with people, doing an empath counseling, or even doing an empath social worker. I call myself the empath social worker because I love what I do. I love when y'all, y'all challenge me as well as, uh, you know, you'll, you'll send me information. I'm like, oh, what's this? And it's just like, you know, that could have been the universe sending, you know, sending a person towards me to teach me something while I'm teaching them as well. And we're both learning as we go up. That's a beautiful blessing. You know, being able to have a community where you all are learning 
from different things and I'm having so many beautiful uh, people that is extending to this family from so many different walks of life with so many different beliefs so many different religions and being able to focus on things on bettering yourself being able to be that artist that you are putting things together so you can enjoy the beautiful view of whatever canvas canvas that you're painting of yourself and it's just like that's a beautiful thing because it's like you know we've been going through so much war you know we've been activated so we're having to condition ourselves in so many different directions you know cleanse ourselves detoxing ourselves on so many things that's no longer serving us walking away from things that we truly loved at one time these are the things that's molding you for you to be able to see your trauma as a blessing longer than a curse being able to see your gift as a blessing and not as a curse yes it's sad sometimes like with my situation you know there's i got the empath gift that you have the medium you you know you telekinesis uh uh trans audience or what a clear audience you know all these different things that i have to deal with you know when people pass away and being able to give messages people from the dead you know if, if the energy is strong enough that or the spirit let me say that the spirit of somebody's loved one is strong enough i'm able to pass those things on but my downfall is is when i get all the emotions and they're allowing me to see their last time or they're able to show me the connection they had it's really heartfelt especially if somebody passes away and the the spirit is letting you know these are the things that i did with my son or these are the things that i did with my daughter or these are the things that i did with my best friend and i will allow them to know that these are the things that keeps me you know even though they're on their spirit world they're on a mission as well as we're on a mission they miss us the way like we miss them but they'll always be with us you know if you have like i always tell people when you have somebody that is a loved one that have passed and you always want to listen you know you want to talk to them I talk to my dad all the time and I can metaphysically hear him talking in my head or if I want to talk to my mom and allowing her to know how much I miss her you know I can always hear her as well so it's just like all these things that we're going through is molding us to who we are today being able to walk in that truth path on the truth suit you know being able to see yourself in a higher yourself as a higher self being able to mold yourself and be that authentic person that is true towards others as well as yourself being able to be honest about your situations as you know you get that back so it's just like a lot of times we go through these heartfelt things that makes us, us feel like we're we're being punished or we're going through hell but you don't sometimes it takes a minute for you to realize that hurt that pain that anger you know that neglect that abandonment is also you know it's a hurtful feeling but you're growing from all these things it's not growing to evolve yourself to be pessimistic or you know feel like you know you're not good enough you don't matter you know your 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 voice doesn't you know is a void you know the, all those different things that we go through every day should be you know a learning experience you know and there's a lot of things we have to sit back and like i said in the other video you allow yourself to sit back and really see like you see the movie playing off in your you know playing off as your day by day life and either you can look at it in a negative way or you can look at it in a positive way but if you look at it in a negative way you're going to still keep on living that negative life this in that sadness in that dark place but if you choose to say never no more let me see what the universe is really trying to teach me let me step back and see what am i supposed to learn out of this situation because i seem feel myself evolving but there are certain things i can't catch and it's like i've, I've dealt with people they're like rosalyn i'm just trying to figure out you know where the sign is this is the sign when you're coming towards me you know there's a lot of times you know it wrecks my brain at times there's like there's a few times where I couldn't be able to tell them you know this person hey I understand what you're going through because if I really don't know I'm not gonna BS you around and say you know look I'm just like sometimes I tell them, meditate ask the universe what is their what is the things they're trying to show you and a lot of times they highlight a certain thing or they'll put that little voice in your head telling you a certain thing and they tell you to write it down and then that's for you to go ahead and look at 
or something is being brought to you or something's being taught to you and that's telling you to look out for those those points what is this trying to teach me I know I'm growing in many ways and I'm elevating in a lot of ways and I'm healing in a lot of ways but there's something I feel like is missing and it's just like when you're going down that path there's a lot of times where we don't start a spiritual awakening and we got more answers than we I mean we got more questions than we do answers but that's what it is about being on a, a, on a spiritual path on that soul journey that life journey of finding your life purpose there's things that's going to educate you on so many different ways you know even though you might be going through that rotating hamster wheel there's always something new that you're going to learn when you go that one one round again one round again yeah it just gets annoying because you keep going through it but it's just like if you're using the old method of how you're healing something new it's not going to work out you have to be able to try something different because this is something totally different you're not going to be able to you know do the things that you used to do to get through other things that you can do with this this is what a spiritual awakening is because they want you to be able to look at things different they want you to be able to elevate yourself from all the sadness hardship abandonment brute abuse or whatever you went through they had you have that spiritual awakening that's the reason why we have it because they want us to look at it at a different viewpoint because they need you to elevate they need you to be you know being able to be that strong soldier that's going to do whatever spiritual warp you know warfare we're on getting ready to go on because they need that strong person to be able to say you know what i can rely on them because they've been through a lot of things and they're elevating and they're growing and they're able to see things in a positive light knowing that these things weren't sent their way to punish them even though that spiritual awakening whatever you went through that was a tragic situation but sometimes they have to allow those things to happen in your life for you to get that wake-up call there's things that's going on in your life you're not aware of and these are the things we need you to pay attention to yes I lost my father I lost my mother anybody who loved me that was able to help me get to where I had to be they all died off because I mean it was a mess up situation but all the anger pain that you know the abandonment the neglect I found out what my true gifts are how I'm going to be able to elevate myself how am I going to have to have patience to get out of my things and seeing the things I really need to do learning everything about myself all over again thinking I knew myself you never really knew yourself you walking around like how did I not know this about me it wasn't meant for you to know at that time you had to go through your dark journey you had to go through abandonment you had to go through abuse for you to be able to be that person and say yeah I've been abused but guess what I got over this I healed I no longer you know held this accountable for me you know, I didn't allow this to say, this is what I am. No, you grew from that. You learned from it, even though it's a hurtful thing, but it wasn't for you to close off and, you know, look at everybody in the same way that the people that did this to you, you should never lash out on the people that is not the ones that cut, cut you in the first place. You're supposed to heal from that situation, no matter how painful it is. So you can be able to elevate and help somebody else that's trying to get over that hump too. So I hope you were able to resonate on the content of this video be proud of yourself graduate you're basically graduating to that higher self so be proud of yourself give yourself a pat on the back you've really came a long way so like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i would love to hear your your feedback towards this you know discussion of the video is greatly appreciated know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and i've just seen 1313 and knowing that better days somebody's praying for better days has come and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification goes out to Asia Brooks, Julie Carey. And let me see, who else am I going to do? And Jenny Lee, much love to you. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Make sure you hit the bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And share and i'll see you on my next video much love to you peace be well